guys, it's Shriya here and welcome to my channel Beauty and the Code. In today's video, I will be reviewing and swatching O3 Plus Plunge Nail Lacquers, which is luxurious and long-lasting trendy nail polishes which range in 13 shades. I have four of them, so I'll be talking about those in today's video. These have impressive coverage and they have easy application. They also have color lock technology and chip-resistant formula. And these are all formulated in France. They also cure in daylight, so there's no need to cure in UV or LED lamps. So let's talk about the packaging. These come in glass bottles like this, which is rectangular in shape. And all the product details are mentioned on the front and the back of the nail lacquer. The shade number is written onto the cap and the shade name, which in this case is Blossoms, is written onto the side of the bottle. Uh, the applicator wand of this is quite nice and precise and it definitely gives precise application as you can see here in the demo so as you can see shade blossom is a beautiful barbie pink light pink kind of a color and this one definitely has blue undertones to it so one swipe or one coat of the nail paint is not sufficient for to give an opaque finish so we definitely have to put two coats and this is how it looks after applying two coats So before I talk about rest of the shades, I just wanted to tell you guys that when I used a dip and twist nail paint remover to remove the darkest shade, there was no stain on my fingers which is a big deal for me and this speaks a lot about the quality of these nail lacquers. So the next shade is shade 10 that is Grizzle and this is a beautiful light grey slaty kind of a colour which is quite unique in this range and this is probably my second best or favourite shade in this range. So again, coming to uh, the coverage, the first swipe or the first coat of it was not as opaque, it was sheer and this color was quite buildable. So with two shades or two coats of this shade, uh, there was a complete impressive opaque finish. So the next shade is shade number 11 which is Palace Royal and as the name suggests it's a beautiful royal blue shade. This is probably my third favourite and it is quite unique colour. I really love royal blue shades and again the first coat of it was quite sheer so I had to put two coats but after two coats it was bang on royal blue colour which I really really loved because of the beautiful glossy finish and the colour payoff. Also the size and shape of the bottle is so precise that it fits in easily in a nail paint holder like you can see here. So the next shade is shade number 13 which is jungle and this is a beautiful green mossy kind of a color or you could also call it mehndi or henna color. And this is one of the shades which was completely opaque in a single coat. There was no need to apply two coats for this shade and I'm really impressed with the color payoff for this one. Also this shade is quite unique and this is probably my personal favorite. So as I was testing and trying these products, I thought of doing a fun nail art and show it to you guys. So I'm just painting my ring finger and my thumb with a different color. In this case, it's Grizzle and rest of the fingers with the shade Jungle. And then I'm using a white gel pen to create two parallel lines and kind of forming a rectangle and then filling it with some horizontal lines. And I'll be repeating this pattern on the fingers that have shade Jungle on them. And on the remaining two, I'll use a black gel pen and I'll make a basic henna design. So 
Also, I do have to mention that after applying the nail paint, I literally had to wait only for three to four minutes because it dried really quick and it did not smudge at all. So I really like the quality of these, and these uh, have that glossy finish to it. So making a nail art on top of a glossy finish nail paint is always easy. So it was really pleasure doing this nail art, and I hope that you guys like the design. And if you recreate it, then do tag me on Instagram. I would love to see the nail arts that you make. So we're almost almost done with the design. I'm just going to finish the design with some dots and I'm going to repeat this design onto my thumb and then I'll uh, then I'll use a top coat uh, to uh, kind of seal in all the color and this is the final nail art you guys. I really liked how simple and nice it was and if you like then please let me know in the comment section below. Also like this video and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Follow me on my social media, links to which I'll be leaving in the description box below. Thank you so much for stopping by and I'll see you very soon in my next video. Bye!